check out this free video and make sure you hit like and subscribe. Lance Storm is joining us here today. Lance, what's going on with Giselle Shaw? I don't know. I saw the news online this morning. Um, wow. I had no idea. Apparently, she's been granted her release from TNA. Yeah, Giselle Shaw departing TNA Wrestling. Fightful says it was she was granted her release. TNA worked smoothly to grant her release. Didn't put up a fight in keeping her around. Shaw's among the talents been announced for the double events. Scott Demore's Maple Leaf Pro Wrestling. And apparently the agreement was like stay for one more set of tapings. The Louisville, Kentucky tapings. Oh, this past weekend. So she's done. So I guess mm. that's it. I guess so. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there, but uh, there you go. Shaw was the first transgender woman ever under contract with the promotion. Featured in the knockouts division. The Chantourage. Team with Savannah Evans. What are your thoughts on uh, on Giselle Shaw? Well, I, I trained her. She's an SWA grad. Wow. Um, I did so not I'm know a, that. I'm a big supporter of hers. Yeah, I think she's very talented. That. And she kayfabe you? Golly. What can you do nowadays? Yeah. All right. We got a couple of things here. So this has not been like, uh, you know, a press release or anything like that. But I've been told Odyssey Jones is fired. And uh, there are rumors online, also from Fightful, that it was a domestic violence allegation. Apparently, no arrest at this point. But I was told fired. So that's it for Odyssey Jones. He was in the middle of a storyline with The New Day, which, uh, you know... They've been they've been teasing that New Day split for a while, and they brought in Odyssey, and it was a very important part of this story here. And now, done. So they'll move on. Last night, Kofi was asking for a tag team title shot, and I guess we'll see if they put somebody else in the Odyssey Jones role, if they even mention whatsoever that he's gone or if he's just disappeared completely. But that's the update on Odyssey Jones. Nothing like having your career end just as it's getting started. We've also got Nikki Garcia. TMZ reporting she has contacted divorce lawyers in the wake of her husband Artem's arrest for domestic violence last week. Chig Vintsev, I guess is his last name. Sources with direct knowledge tell TMZ Nikki has been making calls since Friday. We're told her intention is to file to end her marriage. Report continues to state, Artem is currently staying with a friend, not in the family home he shares with Garcia and the couple's four-year-old son, Mateo. Monday, she did appear. Oh, man. I don't want to make light of any of this, so I'll finish this and I'll talk about what I was going to say. She appeared on Unfinished Beef Hot Dog Eating Contest and Body Slam's Stephanie Hypes noted she was not wearing her wedding ring during the broadcast. So, shifting away... Because it was mentioned here, I did the Filthy Tom show yesterday. There was no Observer Live, so we did it at noon. And prior to that, we were like, uh, you know, we were we were going back and forth. What time do you want to do it? What time, et cetera? I said, how about noon in the Observer Live slot? He goes, well, I'm thinking of going to the hot dog eating contest. And... I said, well, you know, you can go if you want or whatever. And he decided to stay and do the show. So when the show was over, they were just getting to the finale of the hot dog eating contest. And I should have kept the show going because Tom turned it on in the background. And my God, you should have heard these fans just going nuts for this hot dog eating. <laughs> uh, what's the guy's name that won? Somebody help me out on the chat right here. But uh, it was a new world record in, in hot dog eating. Joey Chestnut. Joey Chestnut. Did you see the whole thing, Dom? No, I didn't watch any of it, but I know it was him. Yeah, Joey Chestnut won. He beat, uh, what's his face? It was like 80. Kobayashi. Kobayashi, yeah. It was like 83 hot dogs or something like that. It was some crazy amount. And, you know, I, I've heard of the hot dog eating contest and everything like that. And 
I, I've heard of Kobayashi, et cetera, and Joey Chestnut, but I never like watched one of them. Man, these people are just going crazy for this hot dog eating. And then, like, they eat all the hot dogs, and then, you know, they hit the buzzer or whatever, it's over. And then, to make sure, to make sure, everybody, like, the two competitors have to open their mouths, and, like, the judges, ah, they're going through, and, like, you got to make sure there's no hot dog morsels still in the mouth. And then, you know, they end up, I guess, Kobayashi had enough morsels that they counted as, like, one dog. <laughs> like, <laughs> wow. Wow. And so uh, Joey Chestnut set a brand new record. I'm just listening to all this. I'm not watching it. I'm trying to upload the show. And Tom, like, forgot that he left the thing connected, so he didn't even know I was listening to him listening to it. But they're, uh, you know, they're going through everything. I'm typing up the deal. And uh, and all of a sudden, I hear, uh, to present the championship to Joey Chestnut, WWE superstar Rey Mysterio. I was like, wow. So, like, Rey was there, and he presents the thing to... Uh, to Joey Chestnut, and then, uh, and the point is, Tom then texts me and goes, oh, wow, Nikki Bella is here. And apparently he thought he disconnected, but he hadn't. But, yeah, she was there at the uh, hot dog eating contest yesterday, so out and about. So that's at least uh, good news. But the rest of this, not good news at all. Uh, he at first called 911. He requested medical assistance. Uh, he claimed that she was throwing shoes at him. Then he called back to cancel. But, like, once you call, you can't uncall. And so they sent uh, police and paramedics, observed obvious injuries on the victim's body, and then uh, he was arrested. So, anyway. Don't like stories like that. It sucks. No, and two of them in one week. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh, man, how much time do we have left? I don't want to start turnstile right now, do I? Well, we'll do this. Kyrie Sane is, I guess, okay. Posted a picture with a thumbs up. So they were doing a tag match. It was Kyrie and Io versus Alba and Isla. And they did a spot where Kyrie was going to do her flying elbow off the post to the outside. And she was aiming for, I think, uh, Alba Fire. But, or no, she was aiming for Isla Don. And so Don, because Bianca and, and Jade are at ringside. And so Don yanks Bianca in front. And Kyrie was supposed to wipe her out. But man, the only person Kyrie wiped out was herself. She almost did that Rob Van Dam rider kick where you land on one leg from the post to the floor. And smashed her head on the announce table. And she's like, come up. She's bleeding from her face. And finished the match and everything. And posted a thumbs up on social media. She ended up getting stitches. Joked that she needed an eye patch. But I guess I guess she's she okay. A yeah, so that was that was scary. Yeah, I saw the clip. And it looked to me, and I'm, I'm guessing now that you've described it, that it was a slight miscommunication in that, she looked like she was aiming for Bianca. Oh, and then and Bianca then, got yanked? Yeah, and maybe it was a, a case of she didn't realize she was supposed to aim at Isla, and then Bianca would be pulled in her way, and she just aimed at Bianca, and uh, Isla pulled her away. Bianca made a heck of an effort to try to grab her and catch her, but uh, yes. she was too far gone at that point. And then we had Bronson Reed was off the show last night. He was supposed to be in a three-way which is interesting because, you know, he was replaced by Braun Strowman, who won. So I presume Bronson was supposed to win and go to the uh, the four-way finale next week. But anyway, he had COVID, and, I mean, he was sick. I mean, apparently he told people it was like a horrible flu and just felt terrible, but uh, he does think he might be back by next week's show, so we'll see. But that's where he was. And then people asking about Rhea Ripley. I mean, total angle, total storyline. I mean, she put her foot exactly where you're supposed to, you know, weave it through the ropes so you can fall off and get stuck in the ropes. But uh, she'll be she'll be good to go. She's fine. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.